Hi guys, it's Anonymous with another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. This is on game two of the Zotac series, Zotac Finals, between uh, Czech and Grubby. As I've said before, it's a weekly tournament with a hundred euro cash prize, uh, open to everyone. I can't remember how many players there it's open to, but each week, but I think it's 1,024, so definitely we've got pretty good chances of getting in. This map, this game is game two, it's Czech is ahead one to, one to zero, by the way. Um, being played on Secret Valley. So, an orc map for sure, because it has two heal fountains. Uh, and also some pretty decent Blademaster creeping options. Uh, yeah, orcs like this map. Um, everyone else thinks it's an orc map, and doesn't like it against orc. Uh, so yeah, pretty much you end up seeing mostly just orc versus something on this map, because nobody else chooses it. Nobody else cares that much. But, and the, the, you know, this game is no exception. It's Orc versus Night Elf. Grubby and Yellow at the top right about 1 o'clock, and Check at the bottom left at about 7. Since this is not a ladder map, I think I better show it off just in case you don't follow the leagues. Um, it's got two fountains of health, uh, one in the bottom right, one in the top left. Those are guarded by some gnolls and a <coughs> red drake, but because they're heal fountains, you can pretty easily creep them with a very small number of units. Then it's got the nice ogre camp. This is also very a very easy camp to creep, and a very easy camp to pull. But you don't want to go in there and fight it, because you can get... S the creep jack is very brutal. There's only one way out, and it's very narrow. So, and yeah, there's some other creeping options across the map. Two goblin merchants. And a tavern. So, that's enough of that. <coughs> now, last at the end of the last game, I went on a rant about people who don't show up for their matches. Pros, in particular. But... You know, it's it's not so bad when you're an amateur. You know, you have other things in your life. You're not make you're not doing this as your job. You're not pretending that it's your job. So, who cares? But it annoys me when pros don't show up for their matches, and because I think it makes esports less viable on the whole. And I would love to see you know I would love to see this sort of thing on television. Obviously, they would get better commentators than I am. But <laughs> you know, I would like to see things like this. This is why I'm doing it, and. I think that people who don't show up for their matches is one reason, not the whole not the whole reason by any means, but one reason that it not, it's not on television. Anyway, Czech is creeping that camp with his Ancient of War, got a Claws of Attack. Grubby sold his TP, bought a couple of circlets. I guess he went to the, he went across the map and he couldn't try and kill this Ogre Magi. Wow, Grubby cr cutting it very close. Uh, okay, 9 health on that Blade Master gets a Roar Scroll. 9 HP, and the Demon Hunter comes in immediately after Dust. Fortunately, Grubby is out. Wow. That was very, very risky by Grubby. Uh, and actually, his Windwalk timed out, is, so Check spotted him out, but he's at the Heal Fountain safely now, Windwalked. So, still, I think Check could come in, and, oh yeah, wow. This is, this is really nice by Grubby. He's, he's actually running out of the way, so Check won't be there. So Check dust, but he missed him. Wow. And brilliant by Grubby to anticipate that. Now he's going to come back in, the creeps are asleep, and he can just heal up. So Check used both charges of dust and didn't get the Blade Master either time. So very nicely done by Grubby. Uh, Grubby now attacking. Uh, and let's see what else he's doing. Putting up a Voodoo Lounge, finally. Um, it's, it's less urgent to put up the Voodoo Lounge early on this map because there are the heal fountains for your Blade Master. And this is what I meant about being able to creep it with a small number of units. He just killed one of the creeps with his, just his Blade Master. And now he's going to bring two grunts in and creep the rest of this camp, even though there's he's not going to be able to get the dragon, of course. <coughs> Pretty typical strategy is to creep this camp as though it were two separate camps, one with gnolls in it and one with a single dragon. So you creep the gnolls first, then you come back and creep the dragon later when you have a raider or whatever. You need more than one raider, because dragons have hero spell resistance and ensnare does not last long. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh... Check, meanwhile, oh, there's a dust, good dust. And Check gets the greater heal potion thanks to that. However, Grubby, just, that Blade Master is awfully low. Grubby dusts now. Gonna be able to try and force some archer kills. Uh, not gonna get them. For, fortunately for, for Check, he windwalk, uh, sorry, mana burned the Blade Master there. Not gonna have windwalk. Grubby gets one archer kill. Not gonna have windwalk, though, to kill the Demon Hunter. So, gonna try and get the second archer kill. Dust almost worn off, got the archer kill. So, two archer kills for Grubby. Now, meanwhile... His grunts are sitting around at the heal fountain, trying to heal up. The dragon makes it a little annoying, but he should pull his, his units away. 
Um, and both players are very close to tier 2. I, they must have started their attack almost at the same time. Grubby has a slight lead, but it's not significant. Now, let's see what Grubby's doing. I think he's going to try and creep some more, which would make sense, bringing his grunts out of that. Yeah, I'm going to try and creep this camp. I forget what this what item it drops. I don't play much on this map. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really remember what any of the camps drop on this one, but uh, I guess it drops a boring tome, a low-level tome. That's really bad. But, oh well. Just trying to creep to level 3, then. Beastmaster for check. And, yeah, he had no Hunter's Hall, so definitely going Talons here. So, Grubby's going to face Talons, and I assume he will be aware of this. Uh, he's not getting his hero yet, now he's getting a Torn Chieftain. So, yeah, Grubby knows exactly what's up. Talons, and he's getting a Torn Chieftain to counter them. Uh, and Check should be putting up his Ancient at Wind right now. There we go. Now, meanwhile, Check creeping the rest of the shop camp. Um... Uh, not too much left in it, though, because Grubby already got the, the good item, the Roar Scroll, in this case. And that Roar Scroll could be quite helpful against... Oh, this is interesting. Grubby's sending his Blade Master. He's going to be able to cancel one of these Ancient of Wind, I think, because that Blade Master has quite a bit of items, item support on it. It's going to be able to do a lot of damage in the battle. And right now you see the power of that Blade Master being able to cancel this Ancient of Wind. Uh, I don't think he would be able to cancel the other. Uh, Demon Hunter coming in, so he's not even going to try. But... Uh, Grubby doing, uh, pillage, says the, the obs. Yeah, Grubby is doing pillage. So, I wonder if that means he's gonna do a, a base push. <coughs> he may, because he has just cancelled that Ancient of Wind again. He knows there's, there can only be one Ancient of Wind up. And so he'll have a, he'll have a bigger window than usual to do the push. Before those talents get master training, and before there are a lot of them out. Grubby's first raider is out. He's gonna need a Spirit Walker to cancel... Okay, he's cancelled the up Adept upgrade to get something but I don't know what. I guess a burrow. And now doing ensnare. So, yeah, now Grubby, uh, Blade Master, and Jack's Demon Hunter are fighting at the fountain. Which is going to be... I mean, obviously, Jack's Demon Hunter is going to be able... is not going to have any real trouble here. It's got a... Uh, what is that? Yeah, Ring of Regen, Potion of Greater Healing, more importantly. But actually, Grubby seems to be getting the upper hand somehow. I'm not sure how he's doing this. He's got, I mean, he's got slightly more damage, but he's just done so much more in this fight. And check TPs, because... Oh, oh actually, that's because Grubby is coming with a b big force to fight him. Uh, yeah, check TPs out, heals his, his Demon Hunter at the at the Moonwell. But now he's... It might lose his Blade... His, sorry, his Beastmaster here. He's passed the potion to it, so he won't lose it. But that could... He doesn't want to waste the potion like that. Um... <coughs> Yeah, and now gonna lose lose the Ancient Wonders, and this is ve very going very badly for Check. Grubby is putting very strong early pressure on him. He canceled those two Ancients of Wind. Now he's ca canceled the Ancient of Wonders. There is still no Ancient of Wonders up. That second Ancient of Wind is just going up now. I think Grubby canceled it again. So, with that with that force coming in, so what that means is that Check is going to be way behind in Talon production. Grubby is going to have lots of time to creep up his Torn Chief into three, uh, if he chooses to do that, or to just push again if he wants, because. Are those talents even master? I don't, I don't know if they're master trained. Do they even have a talent out at the moment? Let me check. I don't even see any talents. Okay, now doing the master training. So, <clears throat> yeah, there were not even any talents out. One out. Two out now. How did I miss that? Wow. I'm going blind or something. Um, two talents out. Grubby gonna be able to cancel the Ancient of Wonders again. Uh, and Check will have no support from items in this little battle. Grubby gonna be able to take out Moonwell if he wants. Uh, yeah, Grubby has a vastly superior force at this point, obviously. He's probably gonna be able to kill, uh, or force the potion and then kill the Beastmaster if he wants. Demon Hunter will be a tougher target, but... <clears throat> gonna go ahead and s surround that Demon... Oh, nice surround by Grubby. Nice, uh, ensnare surround, but still... Even with ensnare, that's not the easiest thing to do, and now the hero goes down, the other hero's gonna go down, too. So... <clears throat> Yeah, Grubby, very good job putting early pressure, and it really paid off for him with a ton of building cancels. He prevented... I mean, how often do you see people beat Talons before Master Training? Almost never. Um, that's some serious early pressure. 9 minutes and 29 seconds, the game length. So Grubby doing a very good job at applying early pressure, and it, and it completely won him the game there. There is no question that that was what won him the game. And... 
I, I mean, the check may, may have been a little bit lax in his security on his base, but still, very nice job by Grubby. That evens the series at 1-1. One one. Um, probably I won't be doing any more of the games today, just because I'm tired, uh, but I'll do them later. So, yeah, I'm coming very close to the time limit again. So I don't really have much more to say, but I was going to have a rant, but I don't have time to do it. So you're spared that one. Anyway, thanks for listening. This is Anonymous.